when I made the decision to go start a brewery, pretty much uh, everybody thought I was crazy. And you know, frankly, I think they're right. Well, what I first thought was that it was completely adolescent. But when he told me he wanted to do that, I felt that he does have the skills to make that happen. He's creative and dynamic and has the passion. So, you know, it stewed in me for a while. But eventually I came around. We had $10,000, we had a building that we couldn't afford, no equipment, and uh, nothing else. So we had to make it work uh, day by day, week by week, piece by piece. I don't really know where Matt, my Matt, found Matt Lincoln, but um, when he talked to me about Matt Lincoln for the first time, it was in glowing terms. I've always been interested in beer ever since I was, uh, you know, 18, 19 years old. Cooking was a big love of mine, so I was a chef for about 10 years. But I uh, kind of got tired of uh, working in kitchens and decided to um, make the career switch and went through the American Brewers Guild program and that kind of started, started me on my path towards, uh, you know, making beer and not making any money. I think first and foremost, uh, Matt Lincoln, who is a head brewer, has brought an enormous amount of facial hair. Uh, he not only has facial hair, he has back hair and chest hair. The other Matt's mustache, um, I think it, it, it's got a little ways to go. Yeah, the mustache is actually, it's a lot bigger than it seems, it's blonde. It probably is bigger than it looks, but... Uh... <laughs> I love these people. The people engaged in the microbrew industry, they like doing this. They're passionate about what they do. Um, and that passion is extremely intoxicating to be engaged with. This industry works together. If somebody needs something and they're out, be it yeast or hops or a piece of equipment or a hose or an extra hand, there's another brewery, us or somebody else to lend a hand and vice versa. It's just, it's a wonderful thing to be a part of an industry where we're competitors, but really we help each other out and we want each other to succeed. We have been embraced by the community. As we started brewing the first batches, people kept coming by and asking Matt or whoever was around, when are we gonna be able to come? So we decided to invite people into the brewery. We wanted a community aspect to that. So we wanted children, old people, young people, um, dogs, cats. And it's been an amazing success because people in Fremont want to support their neighborhood businesses. We're right smack dab in a neighborhood. It brings people together and sitting down and having a pint of beer is probably one of the best pastimes known to man. That's why we do it. Beer engages this entire community. We're here because beer matters. Yes, because beer does matter. <laughs> Fremont Brewing Company. Because beer matters.